Okay, hi guys. Um, I'm back. I'm Karen. I am your seasoned airport agent. And today I want to talk about lost and found articles at the airport. Every single day, every single day, every single day, I see iPads, computers, phones, passports, driver's license, um, you name it, we find it. It's everywhere. So I just want to go over a couple things about lost and found. First, um, if you've lost something at an airport, depends on where you lost it as to what department you're going to contact. If it's the airline, like you've lost it on the airplane itself, then you would contact the airline itself. Every airline is going to have a lost and found department. Probably whatever airline you're on slash lost and found on the website and they'll probably walk you through the steps that you need to know. If it was left as security, then you need to contact TSA. That's a government um, that's a government that you need to contact because they would have a separate holding area. If it was lost at the airport, uh, every airport handles it a little differently. You'd either contact the police department at the airport or maybe traveler's aid at the airport. Um, a couple of things I want to go over. If it's an electronic thing like a computer or an iPad or something like that, most uh, airports, or at least the airline I work for, they hold onto those things for 30 days. Um, and then they do donate them. According to my lost and found department, they donate them because I asked. I'm, so I wasn't sure what they did. I, I, I've heard rumors that they did other things, but they said that they are donated. So if you have lost something of value like that, contact them immediately. Um, if it's left on an airplane, it might take a day or two for it to get cycled into the lost and found department, especially at a big airport. If it's something that you left on an airplane, like in a seat back pocket, it could travel around until the very end of the day. So depending on um, where, what time of day you left it, it could take it all day to get to the final destination of an overnight where a cleaning crew might find it and turn it in. In a small airport, it's going to go to baggage service, the baggage service office. So the trick is, is defining where, what city is it overnighting in. So if you know you've lost something immediately, go ahead and do a lost and found um, report with whatever airline you were flying on. Uh, if you have serial numbers of things like iPads and computers, that is a big help trying to find you and to reassociate you with your lost article. Also, guys, please, please put phone numbers on things. Put phone numbers in your passport. Put phone numbers on your computers. Put phone numbers and or an email or something, even on your phone. If you can put a phone number, I have found so many phones, and I try to find you guys, but they're usually locked or something else is going on. So if you could put a phone number, maybe even an email address on the outside of things, it sure makes it easier for us to find you because we do try to uh, get you back with your lost article or whatever you've lost. If it's something that is not of high value like a hat or a coat or something like that, those things they only hold on to a four week and then they are donated. Um, and I guess that's about it. Um, let me just check my notes make sure. If, you, if they find something... Um, they will ship it back to you, but it will be at your expense. So just be aware of that. Um, and just don't put things in seat back pockets, okay, guys? I mean, I can't tell you how many things people, you know, leave and then they forget. So just make sure at the end of your trip that you check all your seat back pockets. Make sure, you know, you check your pockets that you haven't lost anything or hasn't fallen out of your pocket. Because once it's, you know, gets into the airport, it's sometimes other people pick it up or things happen. So just, you know, be aware. I've seen so many things lost, um, and so just, you know, try to keep up with your stuff, and uh, I guess that's about it, and thanks for watching, I'm with iFlyRight.net, uh, we have product recommendations on there, um, I've got all kinds of blogs, and, and uh, I'm on social media, iFlyRight, uh, so check us out, and, uh, and thanks for watching, see you next time.